data is all around us. The ability to analyze and apply data is the key to unlocking business potential. These data analysis skills are now at your fingertips. This 28-hour analyzing and visualizing data with Power BI course covers the requirements for the PL300 exam, delivering the essential skills needed. I'll show you how to download Power BI for Windows for free to give you practical access when you need it. We'll learn how to create visualizations, including how to format our first visualization and look at the different types of visualizations you can achieve, refining them by adding more control and adding mapping and key performance indicators. We'll use the Power Query window to transform the data, manipulating it before it reaches the visualization stage. We'll explore the many great features that will speed up your data analysis, such as splitting columns, combining folders and queries together, and more using the M language. We'll look at how to refine your data model, connecting tables together using relationships, and create custom columns and measures using formulas created in the DAX language. Finally, we'll see how you can host your analyses online using the Power BI service. From our report, we'll create dashboards, workspaces, apps, and more. The Power BI course comes complete with regular practice activities to support your learning along the way. By the end of the course, you will be much more confident about using Power BI and perhaps take the PL300 exam. That would look great on your CV or resume. So what are we going to learn in this course? Well, Power BI has a certain workflow. You get the data, whether it's from Excel or another source. You refine it by adding additional columns and additional transformations if needed. But then you also join tables together. You visualize it by adding graphics and tables and other visualizations. And then finally, you share the data. So we've got four stages. What I'm going to start with is this visualized data stage. So yes, I could start with adding lots of complicated refinements to get data or adding the model link or transforming the data. But the end result is that you want to be able to see your visualizations. So for me, what I want to do is concentrate on skipping these two elements as much as I can and then visualizing the data. So we're going to load data from a spreadsheet and then instantly we're going to create a result. So this is our first step, the visualize data. And we're going to exploring lots of different visualizations we can do and put them into dashboards. Now our dashboards can also include maps. So whether it's a map as the United Kingdom, United States or Afghanistan. We can create dashboards built on KPIs or gauges or that sort of thing. We will go into the detail of one of them and then we'll see that the other visualizations follow a similar pattern for how you customize it. So this is the visualization section of the course. We're going to start with that first. After that, we're going to go into the get data section. Now, get data is a bit more complicated than it sounds. It allows us to really refine the data, create a structure to the data, transform it. But it's not just that, a lot more. For example, I have got here not one data source, but several. So I've got a folder which contains information from January, February, March and April, and each of these contains a CSV file. So what you might previously have had to do is to open each one of these up to copy and paste the contents together. Here, I don't have to do that. You can see that it's found all of these different files. I'm going to transform the data and get rid of the .ini files from consideration and then combine them all together. So now you will be able to see that all of the files are combined into one table. And if I update the file structure, say I put maze in, then I can automatically refresh the data. It really simplifies the amount of work that I have to do because it will go through each of these steps every time I click refresh. The third part of this course is all about modeling. So you may have multiple tables that you need to join together using relationships you might need to refine it further by adding additional columns or measures. And we'll be doing that in part three of this course. So we've got the data, we've added any modeling and we've visualized the data. So the last stage is to share the data, to put it on the internet. And we can do that in the Power BI service. So we can upload data sets, data flows, reports, and dashboards 
which can contain tiles from different reports. We can share them, we can create an app, and we can even put them on our websites. So those are the four different parts to this course. Visualizing the data and sharing the data do not require knowledge of any formulas. The second part of this course requires formulas in a language called M. And the third requires knowledge of formulas in a language called DAX. Now, if you're used to Excel, then the DAX formulas will be very similar. It's an extended form of Excel. M formulas is a bit more removed from Excel, but you will be able to get data without knowing the M formulas. It just will enhance what you can do. So more specifically, what are we going to learn? Well, I'm going to leave that to the experts, Microsoft, and they have a certification, the PL300, Microsoft Power BI Analyst. So if I scroll down, you will see that we've got skills measured, and they are separated into the four different parts of this course, roughly. And if I click on the download exam skills outline, you'll see that there are a little over 80 individual items that you will need to know if you wish to go for the PL300 exam. They're also, of course, very useful if you just want to learn how to use Power BI.